Headliner removed. Now time to get it ready for wrapping. So number one, we got to remove the, uh, the all the lights and the wires from the lights. So it's pretty easy, straightforward. Um, everything has a little clip that comes right off. Um, this is why we couldn't take this off because there are actually little buttons here to push into that. So that's off. You remove all the wires off of here. Very, very straightforward. They're just clips. Pinch them and they pop right off. Now the lights, you'll see there's a little metal plate here on the left of it. You want to push into that and then push down and out. Just like that. And you'll see here the plate push in, down and out. Really, really easy. I recommend doing it this way versus trying to do it inside the car. Uh, it's an easier way to prevent any type of damage and frustration. Uh, while you're at it, if you're going to swap out your bulbs, this is probably the best time to actually do it. Uh, upgrading the LED or just getting brighter bulbs, this will be the, I mean, honestly, the opportune time to do it. So, uh, just line them off, take the bulbs out. So that's one thing you guys can do down the road. But now with all that removed, flip your headliner over and literally just rip the uh, old material off. Um, try not to bend anything. When you get to the light housing, it gets, it gets uh, stuck in the groove, so just try to fendangle it around it. When you get to the edge right here where it curves, take your time because you can bend this really easy and break it. And that's it. Put that aside. Now there's a lot of different ways to remove the glue. You can use your hand and just rub it off. You see that? It comes right off. And then until you're smoothened out. That's number one. But your hands get really hot because of all the friction. Number two, I tried using a steel brush. I tried using a wire brush, a hard plastic brush, a spatula, and none of them work really well. So here's a weird way to do it, but it works. Grab some old flip flops, all right? Use the big side and literally just scrape. And then with your hand, push the glue over, just like that. And just scrape, 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 smooth it out. Um, Try to keep all the glue on here because you're going to need a vacuum to take all this off. But this is like the easiest way I figured out without staying here for like 10 hours doing it by hand with something else. You can go left, right, up, down, however makes it easy for you. But just make sure the glue is out of the way when you're scraping so you don't stick it to the headliner anymore. Okay, so do this for the whole entire headliner. Once you're done, we'll show you guys uh, show you guys what to do next, all right? All right, so after you guys removed all the glue, you're left with a pretty crappy smooth surface. So what I say what I mean by that is that there's still going to be like little bumps here with the glue that gets left over. Depending on the fabric you choose, the thicker the fabric, the better it's going to be on here because you won't notice any of those bumps at all. The thinner, the cheaper the fabric, I guess you can say, you're going to notice the bumps when you lay the new fabric down. So once you do all that, your next step here is to measure and cut to uh, length your, uh, your material. But that's for another episode. So you're done for removing and prepping. 
now we're actually going to be laying, and that'll be the next episode. All right, guys. So thanks for watching today on this episode of Pinchao's Garage. I'm Pinchao. Steve, somewhere over there. <laughs> See you guys next time.